All right, so we're at Damascus, and a ton of people ask me, where are all the cars that you built? Where do they go? Do you sell them all? Do you keep them? Here is the problem with TV. TV ready and ready to go are way two different things. So when you do five episodes, 10 builds, in ep or five episodes times two full builds per episode, you got 20 cars laying around. And here's where they lay. They are not ready to go. They are not what they appear to be on TV and wet, not even close to what I consider to be a truly done finished car. So a ton of these cars do not get finished and I don't have the techs to work on my stuff. So if you just look around, um, what do we got? This Porsche we had on the show, never finished it. This Suburban, which I love the Suburban, it's kick ass. New motor, new trans, supercharged. I mean, really cool, not ready to go. 70 and a half split bumper Camaro, LS3 six speed, really nice suspension, really good parts on it. It is turboed, uh, not even close. I'd love to finish this car. The Golden Eagle, my first Jeep from my junkyard that I've had for 30 years. It's a little closer now. It probably has a week's worth of work left on it, and then it will be done and ready to drive until I drive it and put a punch list together. But of course, it's just sitting here. SEO. How cool was this build? We put the late model Mustang motor in it. The uh, four cylinder, 315 horsepower, really cool. First ones to do it, doesn't run, just sitting. The Chips truck, 78 Chevy truck, step side. New motor in it, new trans, all new parts, not even close. Let's go in here. Here, we have a very nice, brand spanking new 572 and I'm going to show you what we're going to do with that later. So here we have Larry Wood's Chevy Hot Wheels tow truck. And we have been desperately trying to break the record for the world's fastest tow truck. So this is why I'm not happy with how the tow truck turned out last time. The tow truck would break the world record. It does go faster than the world record speed. I've already proved that. We clocked it. I'm good there. Number one, I couldn't get Guinness out there. Guinness is a pain in the butt. It takes a long time to get somebody to come out and verify it, which I am going to go through the process and I am going to do that so I can actually get into the record books, but I felt unsafe at the end of the track when I had to go stop the truck. The truck did not want to stop. I was coming to the end of the track and we all know what happens when you don't have brakes. You crash. I didn't feel like crashing the truck, so I laid off it a little bit. I could really set the record at a much higher standard, so that's what I want to do. And then I want to try, and I think I want to try a new one where I want to break the world record for how fast the tow truck will go pulling a car. Like, I don't think that's ever been done before, so I figured we could give that a whirl. Maybe the car would flip around and wreck and do something cool. Um, I also thought about breaking the world record in reverse, like how fast can you go in reverse? These are all questions I have for Guinness. This is the kind of stuff that I want to look into and the stuff I want to fix and I want to make the truck 100% safe so I can actually even drive it to car shows. Uh, I think it's a really cool truck and it's a great tribute to Larry Woods, who's a good friend of mine and I just want to do something cool. So I also feel like the truck isn't, it's too, uh, it, the motor's a little big and it likes to overheat. So I either got to run it on alcohol to keep it cool, or I need to change the motor. I'd like to get a little bit more horsepower. I've got a 496 that I just built that has 600 horsepower. I got the 572 that I think I could really get into the sevens, seven and a half. Uh, and I think that's the motor I want to put into the truck or just pull the motor that's in it and go through it and see what the scoop is. We can also do that. So I'm definitely going to change brakes and I'm definitely going to probably change my entire front suspension and change the rear end uh, and then I will go from there with the engine and see what I got there. I definitely have a good trans in it already. So the other thing I got going on is I'm building the cab over truck. Uh, I am super stoked on this truck. I don't know why I like big trucks. I just do. I think it's cool. It's not like I'm a 
over the road truck driver, but I do want to get my own low boy and I do want to haul my own equipment because I think it's ridiculous to pay the kind of money that they charge when I can do it myself. So I got my buddy KT down in wherever, down south somewhere, building me a motor, 700 horsepower to the wheels motor, like super tricked out, very cool. Uh, you'll have to check out his videos because he's recording doing the entire build on the motor. Uh, and then we're going to put it in the truck. i got to figure out the trans. I'll probably just stick with a 9-speed. And after Christmas, I'm going to run this frame. I'm going to take the cab off the truck, and I'm going to run the frame up to my buddy Mike Poole. We're going to stretch it. I got a back half off of a tractor that has all rear disc suspension with airbags. This truck doesn't. It's old school. So we're going to back half it and stretch the truck out, and that's going to be another cool video. All right. So welcome to the showroom, where cars are not finished, go to rest. We have the VW Bug, tons of work left to do on it. Cool car, love to drive it around once in a while, I don't have time. 70 GTO Judge clone, Orbit Orange, love the car, I'd love to drive the car. It probably has a week's worth of work left on it, not done, been sitting here for years. Starsky and Hutch car. Love to drive it. Can I? Nope. Probably has two days worth of work left to do on it. The Rolls Royce right hand drive with a 355 small block blower in it. I would love to drive this around. And drive it you can. The problem is you can't stop. The brakes suck. There are Rolls Royce. I don't even know if it's some kind of funky system that you can't fix. Haven't put brakes on it yet. So it's a good Good uh, mural sitting here, I guess. The tractors are mine. It's what I first started restoring when I was a kid because I couldn't afford to do cars yet. So I redid the Red Farm All, the David Bradley I bought the way it was, and the first one is that yellow cub over there is what I used to plow my driveway with. Uh, the Hummer, believe it or not, it's okay. I can get it and drive it and uh, I feel pretty good about it. I mean, it needs a little work, but for the most part, it runs and drives, but it's cold out and no roof. Wide body challenger. It's great. It looks good sitting here. Just can't turn the wheels because the wheels hit the inner fender. So it's got to go back in the body shop. It needs to get the inner fenders cut out. Uh, it really needs some paint work because they rushed it through the paint shop and it's not up to my standards. It's a great looking car. I love the car. Just needs another week's worth of work. So this is why you guys should not believe everything you see on TV. If you want to hear some more TV secrets about what's really going on behind the scenes, hit like and subscribe and watch my videos.